Alright everybody and welcome back to another episode on Ravenport. So, we'll get the door first. So we need to start planting our fields, which should be a good start. We'll really leave the tractor over there somewhere. Alright, so we'll jump in the old Messy Ferguson. Which looks a bit dirty. But, uh, that'll be right. Anyway, I haven't put a video up in a while. Uh, because I actually got the Satek uh, side panel. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I've really just been learning really the buttons and things like that before I start making videos with it. So, so far it's actually made things quite um, a bit easier, which. Oh, what's going on here? It's quite good. It's good to have all the buttons right there. Same as a keyboard, I guess, but uh, yeah. Oh, I need to fill this back up. Before I head on out, so let's fill this back up. Uh, I'll probably do some more oats as I'm going to be getting horses today. Hopefully. Let's just fill this back up. Alright, there we are. And we're good. Better close that back down. Alright, so start getting these fields prepped up. So I'll probably go with oats again. I'll fill it right up so that I've got enough for horses. Let's get those side bits out. I don't tend to unfold it. Let's get this in there. Oh, now that's been ploughed. Alright, just want to go up this side here first before I uh, up and down the field. I'll just go through the trees a bit. So I did a bit of forestry on a map that I do. Well, good start on a map that I do offline to see uh, how good the Satex side panel is with forestry, and it is actually a lot better. For those of you that don't have one, um, and those of you that do, let me know what you think. But I definitely do fi find it a lot better. Alright. Going good, getting these back lights on, here we go. But yeah, like normal, I'll go all the way across. Get these crops all put in. Yeah, so one thing I have learned as well is uh, mowing. So when you mow the grass, you actually get rid of your uh, fertil fertilizing stage. So if you fertilized it, then don't use the uh, mower to get rid of the weeds. Just use a weeder. So I probably will be looking at getting a weeder pretty soon. Uh, now that that's on my list of things to get. Because I don't want to be really setting myself back. Um, when you're putting in fertilizer, so you're putting it in plus the time, it's a waste of money if you're just going to mow it over again. And uh, this is definitely not the kind of game that you just want to give money away on. But yes, anyway. Uh, we'll have to look. Uh, I'm just going to get a small animal trailer, so for the horses, I'm not too sure if uh, horses can go in the bigger trailers, as I've never tried it, um, maybe it's something I should try and do, should have tried to do that before I made this video actually, would have been a good idea, but uh, we'll try it in the video and we'll see. If it works, either way, I'm going to need an animal trailer anyway, because I do plan to have all animals on this farm. Because uh, obviously I just want to capitalise on the money. Um, yeah, there's going to be an animal dedicated one, I guess, uh, pretty soon. Although I'm doing a whole lot of arable fields. But the oats is just for the horses, as you know already. Uh, anything else other than that is to make money. Um, well, wheat, wheat and oats are for the animals so far, 
Um, but I guess eventually when I get pigs, they'll require pretty much everything else. So I'll probably just become a full dedicated animal farmer then. Where was that up to? There we go. I need to put the working lights on as well. Not that really made much of a difference, did it? What are those lights? What are they doing? A whole lot of nothing. Oh, yep. Whole lot of nothing. Anyway, uh, I'll skip a bit of this out and we'll see you soon. Alright, so these two fields here are pretty much done. Just got the odd bit. I need to quickly go over. Alright, and there's one more strip. And field 26. This there we go. Alright, so then that's these fields done. So, once these two are done, I'll put the tractor on the worker for the next field. Which should be good. Now, one thing, uh, so I've downloaded a, f a couple more mods since I uploaded a video. So, let's get off. One is real dirt. Which I'm actually finding to be quite good. Um, I have done a bit of mowing with it and the tires turn green and all that sort of stuff, which is quite cool. Um, I can't really tell when it's dark so much, but once it lightens up, I uh, better tell a bit better. Whoa. But anyhow, we'll get the worker going on here. I'll keep the oats going. Alright, so we'll get him going there. Alright. Oh. So I have to attach that. Oh, it's all attached, that's good. Oh, what's going on? There we go. So we'll take this down to, uh, what do you call it? The old shop. And, uh, pretty much get a few horses, so I'll probably only need two, or maybe four, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I want to really just see how many I can fit, or if I can, uh, if I can even get horses in the trailer. Uh, otherwise I will have to use uh, the horse carrier. I'm hoping I can get horses just in a normal trailer, I don't see why I couldn't, but uh, you never know when it comes to a game. So here we are in animal transport, as you can see, this is two pieces of the horse. Then it's got pigs and chickens. I mean, cows, sheep, and pigs. That one's the same. That one's the same. Hmm. Well, should I risk... Well, I had a quick look on Google and it seems that this trailer here is the only one that can actually take the horses, which is a little bit frustrating. Uh, which means I'd have to buy it. Uh, which is a bit of a pain, but it's okay. Whoa! It's kind of mess, is it messy red? We'll go there. That's a certain colour. Uh, but yes, so I will have to buy it and I have to come back, obviously, with the tractor. Because the truck's just not going to cut it. Alright. So head back to the farm. And see how that tractor's getting on. Taking the truck is definitely a faster way. Than uh, the tractor. Obviously because I'm going 83k's. I don't even know if I'm on the right side of the road. Oh, it must be the street signs are on this side. But yeah. Hopefully it's done a bit by the time I get back there. Uh, but I will be uh, picking them uh, up as soon as he's finished. Where is he? Oh yeah, he's near the end. So I'll get this other trailer ready. I probably need to take that head off the back. I don't want that to get stuck anywhere. Uh, 
Let's get that in there. No, I'm too far off. I thought maybe, just maybe, it'd let me pick it up, but no. Alright. Might just actually... I'll take it off. I was, I was second, second thinking it. But uh, I will get the half, so to take that header off. Alright, so back this out. Get the header off. I think it's right on the other side. I've got to go to attach it though. I oh, know, this side, that's good. As you see, I've got the time on times one instead of times five like normal. Uh, I decided to have it on times one just while I was sewing. Just because I don't get, I don't get anything patchy or anything like that. Oh, don't want to be knocking that over. Alright. Good. We are good. Alright, so. Just gonna work out. There we go. I thought the joystick could be part of that. So the Satex side panel joystick does that, which is good. So there's a couple of things I couldn't work out uh, with the joystick when it comes to uh, moving things. So what I've actually done, I've uh, turned my Logitech um, six foot six speed shifter and two buttons uh, for certain objects to extend and uh, like so if I'm using the logger it would actually extend the arm out and in we're just pushing it into third and uh, fourth which is quite good but anyway I'll jump into that tractor and I'll finish it up and I'll see you soon alright so we're just finishing it up now so I'll leave it over by the other field because uh, that's where I'll be. So I come back. So the eggs are starting to rack up over there with the old chickens. Okay, let's just leave this here. Then that'll be that field done. I actually thought I'd already done uh, all the sewing in my last episode. My last episode was probably uh, a week and a half ago, I think I made that one. I haven't uploaded that yet, but that is coming. So as you would have already seen that one. Anyway, let's get these lights off, jump to the tractor, uh, the truck, rather. We'll go pick up this horse float and uh, we'll buy some horses, it's definitely going to be faster uh, using this. There we go. Alright. Yeah, haven't played on this map for a while, but it's a good map, and this farm started to get a bit more established now that I've got some horses there as well. Uh, we'll be making some more money, but obviously uh, it'll take a few days to start making some money from the horses. What is it, five days or something or rather when you actually start making some profit? Uh, but yeah, I do have the horse help in modern store as you know, so that definitely helps. I don't have to ride the horses every day. I do think that that would be a, just a pain, really, to have to do that. Hence why I always have that mod installed. But yes, so I hope you're enjoying this Ravenport series. I'll probably take this to about 100 episodes, I'd say, and then it'd be something else. A different map. Let's just extend the trailer out so I can fit the float on there. That should be good. Alright, so we'll leave that running. I oh, thought I already started it up, but no. matches nicely oh, need to 
turn it off. Load this back up. Alright, now I'm pretty sure the animals drop this way. Uh, gotta wait for the bloody train. It's not too bad, I suppose. Could definitely be worse. Could be longer. After all the incidents I've had with the train, I guess I've learned to respect it a little bit more <laughs> and not just try and beat it all the time. But no doubt uh, I'll get stuck again at some point. But uh, until then, I'll try not to. That tractor needs such a clean. So dirty. So after doing all the bailing in the last episode. Jeez. So I have to sort out getting that clean once I finish sewing the next field. But yes, here are the animals. Uh, but we uh, if you actually buy them, let's have a look around here. Looks like it's down this road somewhere. Take out the road sign, that's okay. Alright, there we go, that's where it is. So I'll just park this here. Leave that running. Keep the truck nice and warm. And uh, get me some horses. Distract that tailgate for a bit. Alright, so horses so we'll get a black one and a bay one all right so there we go we've got a horses there in the back hopefully no trains coming so it's not i've got a couple of minutes was it two minutes 53 or something something like that that the train takes to to a full lap Right, so here we go. Uh, we'll turn this off. Get this one back on. So I, oh, I do need uh, to get a water carrier thing uh, to feed these guys. Uh, these chickens don't require water, which is a little bit strange because uh, yeah, birds actually drink a lot of water. Anyhow, especially chickens. Be a ridiculous amount. Anyway, we'll fire this down through this way, uh, get them unloaded, and then we'll have to go and get a water carrier. Unless I can buy it now and fit it on somehow. Let's see if I can extend it out. No, that's as far as what it's going to go, so. Yeah, not going to fit it on. Not even sideways, so. Going to have to take it to them now. I'll take them to the farm now and come back. It's going to be the fastest way to do it. But so, uh, yeah. And then after that, we'll obviously feed them and give them water. Luckily, I've got that watering hole at the back of the farm, which is going to help. It's just so far away from the shop. I've got to be careful. Not to crash around here. But anyway, I just shall. Alright, so we are just about there. Not far at all. And we finally have some horses. Which we're quite happy about. Uh, good money makers, these guys. Obviously, it takes time to make the money. Uh, but you do make the money off them which will definitely help this farm out. So let's just unhook the trailer. There we go. Tomorrow's just going to load it straight on and then be straight off again. Because uh, I do need to start getting some hay for these guys as well. So yes, I need to have a grass area. Um, 
Alright, uh, just trying to, th trying to think what button it is. No, wrong one. There we go, there we go. I'm just getting used to the panel. Alright, so I'm not too sure where I will keep this. Uh, do I have space for it in the shed? Maybe. Maybe I'll climb up this part and put it there. Or I'll just keep them over here somewhere. I do need to make some space for the grass somewhere. So maybe I can make all this grass. Um, but yes, I need hay for my horses. Anyway, we'll leave that there for now. We'll jump back on and we'll go and pick up uh, the water thingy. Alright. And I'll see you. Alright, so here we are. Should see the water thingy in there somewhere. There we go. Alright, so we'll just extend this out. And disconnect it. Let's reverse on back. Oh, didn't realise I left that running. Right, get this straight on, get the water filled up and feed the horses and be good to go. I might just check now and uh, see how well fed the chickens are as well. They're pretty good, their cleanliness is at zero, but uh, apart from that they're pretty good. Oh, need to push it on a little bit more. Don't want to have that backflip thing that I th had happen that other time. Can that go any further? No. That's alright, that can just stay like that. Alright, so we'll head on back to the farm again now that we've got this picked up. But, uh, yeah. The, um... Uh, this water tank thing. It's actually massive. It just doesn't look that big. Like, it holds a lot. So if you look at it compared to... Uh, the milk one that you can get that carries milk, the bigger one uh, well it carries water as well and it's only about 600 litres difference but it looks so much bigger than what this one here is but yes I suppose it's much, too much more yeah Whoop, off the road right so we're back at the farm I uh, might just take this straight up here Next to the IBCs. Right, should be good there. Right, so let's turn that off. Turn the lights off. Oh, wrong way. So let's get some water without getting this stuck. Oh, jeez. That'll be enough anyway. Uh, so yes, luckily we've got this little little thing of pond of water down here. But yes, those of you saying I need to tidy up my farm, I know. I know. I'm just trying to see where I can pull this up. But yeah, maybe the next episode I'll uh, clean everything up and make it a bit better. Just uh, so much going on with the farm at the moment. Getting everything sorted. But I do plan to keep it a bit tidier. Oh, sing that in the water. Is it in far enough? Theoretically, you'd probably need to fully submerge it. Uh, let's see if that should do it anyway. Yep, that's working quite well. Alright, so that should be enough, I'd say. I don't think these horses are really going to take uh, that much water, I don't think. Uh, now, I believe this one. Is the water one? Yep. Okay, well, we'll just leave that there. So I also need straw for them as well. So a loading wagon is going to have to be on the card soon. Alright, so we'll get some oats for these 
horses. And then, yeah, hopefully start making some money off them pretty soon. Not far enough yet. There we go. So we want the oats. Good, good. Oh, is it going to fill the whole lot up? Not quite. So yes, I'm pretty sure uh, the horses are going to take a, a fair bit of the oats anyway. It's deep there. There we go. Now we're good. All right. So empty this out. Wonder if they'll take the whole lot. I know they do eat a lot of a lot of oats. Yep, that did. So I'll make sure I get the oats solo part of it filled right up because I don't want to ever run out. All right, so there we go. Wasn't quite quite in there enough. I should go put this back. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, it's good to be back, I guess, <laughs> for me. Uh, it's been a, been a while since I've uploaded any videos. For you, I guess you're just watching them in motion. Alright, so we'll leave this here. And, uh, might just hook up the sewer and get it ready for the next episode. So I can pretty much just be straight into it. Uh, I do need to fix them up a little bit more and maybe make them a little bit tidier. Uh, so that maybe somebody could look into on the start of the next one. Anyway, uh, thanks for everyone that has subscribed. I do appreciate it. And thanks for all the comments. I appreciate them as well. Uh, I do read all the comments that you guys put down and I try to answer as many as I can. Which is generally pretty much all of them. Uh, so yeah, feel free to leave a comment. Any suggestions you think I should do with the map? Um, I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, it's always good to get some fresh ideas on how I could do things. Or yeah, even if you've got uh, better ways of doing stuff, uh, definitely be quite good as well. Oh, let's get back in there and turn that off. So as you can see, uh, the mud is now green, all on the side of it. It's quite cool. So it just changes to the colour, I guess, because it was all quite dirty. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you later.